LSNTAP presents 10 Tips on Web Accessibility. When adding images and other elements, be sure you are adding alt tags. Basically, alt tags allow people who are seeing impaired to know what is happening in a particular image. Alt tags also have the benefit of helping your site's search engine optimization and providing information to a user if your website is acting slower than normal or doesn't load a particular image. On the screen, you can see an example of an image code without an alt tag. And here is an example of an image code with the proper web accessibility alt tag. Aside from alt tags on links, it is also important to make sure your site icons have what is called ARIA labels. ARIA labels inform the programs and software that people who are sight impaired use as to what the purpose of that image is. So for example, here we see a menu icon such as you might see on a website. By adding the ARIA label for menu, people who are sight impaired and people using web accessible technology will know that pressing this button activates the menu. When designing for mobile, it is very important to increase your font size. Typical desktop websites use a font that is 12 or 13 pixels. For mobile sites, we want to increase that to at least 16 pixels, or individuals who are sight impaired may have issues navigating your website. Remember that any icons you use as links should be at least 44 by 44 pixels, so they are large enough for people to see and click on. Since many users with motor disabilities rely on a keyboard to navigate websites, it is very important that your site be keyboard accessible. If your website is set up to be keyboard accessible, your visitors will be able to cycle between links and other clickable elements by using the tab key. The contrast between your text and the background must be distinct enough for all users. People with poor eyesight may have problems reading and understanding your website content if they find it hard to read. It is important to keep in mind that just because the text stands out clearly to you, it might be a different story for people with a disability. Aside from general vision problems, people who are colorblind may see two separate colors as virtually indistinguishable, which makes certain color combinations untenable for web accessible use. Another issue you might run into with people who are colorblind is their inability to differentiate specific colors from one another when displaying data. Since for some people, the color red and green look to be a similar color, the graph shown on the right is likely what these users would be able to see. As you can tell, this would be difficult or impossible to understand depending on the context it was used in. The graphic shown here demonstrates how to use different patterns and text overlays on your graph to ensure that people who are colorblind will not have issues reading and understanding your site's content. When you are creating links, it is important to note that if people are feeding your website through any kind of web accessibility program or device, that it is necessary to be descriptive with your links. The text of your link needs to be written in such a way as to make it obvious from the link alone what kind of content the viewer is likely to see if they click. So in this example, you will want to replace click here for more with a sentence describing the ensuing page. The shown page is an example of a poorly laid out content. Since there are no line breaks, everything is hard to read and the times and URLs are mixed into the text block. This is generally ugly to look at and will also be difficult for people who are sight impaired to read and internalize. To make your content look better and be more accessible, make sure to separate distinct ideas and paragraphs into their own lines. Bold subjects, add bullet points where appropriate, and generally do a good job of laying out the information in an easily accessible way. Use simple language. Make the reading level about 6th to 8th grade to help people read and understand your content. If possible, don't use jargon or slang, and never use a longer word when a shorter word will do. People who have learning disabilities or are new to the English language might leave your page if the reading becomes too difficult. When putting video content on your website, ensure the videos are accompanied by subtitles so people who are hearing impaired can still enjoy your videos. Subtitles are built right into the YouTube platform and can be added even after they are already uploaded and embedded on your website. Thank you for watching this video. For more information about LSNTAP trainings, visit us online at lsntap.org. Feel free to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel or join our Google mailing list today.